Hello, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is Daniel. You better know me as Real Deal Wealth on this channel. And today I'm here to bring you another great stock that I feel like has a lot of potential. I know we went over BFT in yesterday's video and we can all see how that one's doing today. It's doing excellent. So before we start, I know I talked about it in the last video, but I'm gonna show you all again. My Instagram, if you guys wanted to go follow that, I'd super appreciate that. Uh, I'm posting different stuff. Haven't posted too much on my feed, but I've been posting a lot of good stuff on my story. So go ahead and take a look at that. And let's also take a look at my Robinhood portfolio. Like I said, everyone, you got to just stay consistent. Consistency is key. And we see that we're getting some great gains today. Companies are all up, green market for me. And you know, I just have to stay confident in what I give my calls on because at the end of the day, I'm super confident and I'm super bullish on the companies that I talk about. And if you take my advice, I promise you, you're gonna make money. Obviously do your own research, but these companies that I'm bringing you have a lot of potential. So the company that we're gonna be talking about today it's uh, GIX is the ticker symbol, and the name of the company is UpHealth. And what this company is, it is a way of online healthcare. So to take a look over at their leadership team, we see that Dr. Avi Katz, he's a serial entrepreneur, an angel investor with 30 plus years of experience in the technology sector, and their CEO was previously the general manager vice president at uh, Integrated Device Technology, which was acquired by a Renaissance Electronics Corporation. So they have a great track record of successful SPACs and pipe transactions, as you can see down here. And if we go down to their vision, we're gonna have a lot of information in this video. So if you need a pause, go ahead. So we're reshaping healthcare across the continuum of care, as it says on here. They're going to have integrated care management, global telehealth, digital pharmacy, and behavioral health are the uh, sectors that they're going to be focused on. It is a simplified digital front door connecting evidence-based care, workflows, and services. So that's great to see. Online is the future. So this is a good company to look at. So if we want to look at the numbers, their estimated revenue in 2020, 115 million. 12% margin and their revenue at 194 million and for 2021 expected and then the 12% margin again we see for 2021 expected. They have uh, let's see 1800 plus state RX licenses in all 50 states which is amazing. Integrated care management platform, global telehealth, digital pharmacy and behavioral health as I said before. All of these sectors are really good in what we want to see in a company. And this is what makes me super bullish. And we'll get into why each sector is so important. So the opportunity that we have here comes from the aging population. In this country today, the aging population is only increasing and it's the same around the world. Rising chronic illness burdens. In the US, 81% of hospital admission, 91% of prescriptions, and 76% of physician visits attributed to chronic care. And I can attest for this. I work in the hospital right now, and I see it all the time. The patients that we have, they're reoccurring patients. You see them coming in over and over again. And I don't want to say they're a customer, but for financial purposes, you can keep making money off of repeat customers and we try to help them of course but they still need that continued care which is why we're going to see money keep growing and growing uh, the healthcare cost escalation as i just said because of reoccurring patients uh, inequitable access over half of the world's population cannot obtain essential health services so putting it into a way that is more accessible is going to get healthcare out to a population that isn't even included right now so that's a lot of growth potential and we can see over here the ways we're going to you know be impacting the overall like market for healthcare, meeting patients anywhere, delivering integrated care, reducing the cost of care, improving access to care. And the COVID part, you know, 
I like that they added in, but big picture wise, what we're looking to do, I don't know if that's really important, although it has sped up the acceleration, which we can see right here of online technology. So this could be coming sooner than later. Here we can look at some of the financials about how big Medicare is, the global market, prescription drug market just in the US and the US behavioral health spending. And if you all didn't know, but I've read this in textbooks and I know this from uh, working in the hospital and doing my research as a nurse or coming to be a nurse, that like mental health is our biggest problem and our biggest, you know, issue today in the world. Anxiety is the number one disease in the world. And so if we have a company that can reach out to everyone with anxiety, with those mental issues, that's a great way to make profit. And not only that, it's very ethical and it's something that you can be excited and happy to invest in. So if we look down here, they're breaking down the categories again. Just look at all this money and all these people that are involved and that, you know, that transfer of wealth from people to our company that we're investing in. This is exactly what we want to see in the kind of growth in each sector. And the money is there in these sectors. So we're just trying to take some of that money and give them a service. It's because we're investors in this company. So when I say we, I mean we, because we are the ones that are giving them the money so that they can make progress in their company. And we want to make money too along the way. So look at this change in growth. 115, 194, 346. So we're seeing that upwards trend. And I believe that in some of these sectors like behavior health, we could see a greater increase that can't really be estimated that are going to make us more money in the future. So, you know, down here, the market leading solutions across four capabilities. Yes, they have multi-year contracts with renewal for integrated care management, multi-year recurring revenue contracts with global telehealth, digital pharmacy, cash payment and prescription volume driven revenue. And there's also a fee for service for the behavioral health. Looking down here, this is what I think is huge and what really excites me about this company is it surrounds patients with the clinical care team on a single call. So we can have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot focused into one meeting and we can solve a lot of issues on any device and any language and anywhere, which is super, super important when you're trying to give health care to others. This is going to improve the health of the world. It's going to make us be better as an economy. So, so this is something that we don't only want to invest in ethically, but also for our pockets, which is great. Down here, you can see the current operations and agreements and contracts under discussion. Some huge markets, Canada, the USSR, the UK, and also down here in Brazil. We can already see the countries that they already have an influence in and one in particular, India, which has a supermarket and they are almost at 2 billion in population. So that's a lot of money we're tapping into. We kind of went over the digital pharmacy, but you can see everything here. 50 state licenses, which I think is huge. And they have 130 plus relationship with members of Congress and 95 plus percent of our orders are gonna be shipped within 24 hours. As for their you know, staff or the people that are going to be working with this company, you know, they have a good amount of MDs, which are doctors, nurse practitioners, which are also very important. And overall 160 plus providers, which probably includes some type of nurse or some type of pharmacist. So that's something that we like to see. And this is important right here that I starred because patients, providers, payers and pharma you can see all the platform offerings and values delivered. So I'll link this in the description if you want to take a little bit more of a look, but this is something that I would focus on in this PowerPoint that is really something that gets me excited. You can see the extensive reach across major healthcare systems and payers globally. Look at all of these parts that they're included with and all of these companies slash schools and communities that they are influencing and that they will have a big 
growth with in the future. So financials, we kind of went over them. They've been talking about it throughout the entire presentation. 77% domestic revenue, 74% revenue for this one, 69% uh, 2021 estimated growth, and 24 million for the behavioral health. So these are all the sectors that we're gonna see growth in that I think is amazing. Like, look at this growth over the years. 78% year over year growth. And, you know, look at that margin. Look at that, that's great. That's what we wanna see in our company and we see how they're split up into each sector here. Let's take a look at which is Teladoc, which I wanna compare it to. It's also another company that functions similarly and see where their numbers are at. So they currently have a share price at 229.87, which is really high. And that's something that would get a 10, 20 X out of us if we were to get GIX to that price point, which I feel like it could, which we can look down here and see that they have 144.96 million outstanding shares and their revenue is at 867.13 so if we see gix hit that 300 million dollar revenue point we could be looking at a stock price of i don't know upwards of a hundred dollars so let's look down at gix and see what their financials are looking like market cap's only at 239 million but that's definitely going to go up 22.25 million shares outstanding so not that many so there's a lot of room to make profit for the company if they wanted to sell more shares which is whenever we're looking at companies raising funds so that they can invest more in the company and expand and grow and they don't have their revenue posted but as we saw before over here it's about 113 million but overall i'm super bullish on this company i'm looking to get into some options but my plan as i like to say at the end of the video for everyone is this is a long-term hold for me i like buying companies for the long term i feel like it's how you make the most money you can do a little bit of risky trading options on this i know there's some april calls that are pretty cheap and if this company bumps up to about twenty dollars then you could see some outstanding gains if you buy the right options. But like I say, buying the red, selling the green, and then you're gonna make a nice profit out of this company. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you learned anything from this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe for more, check out my Instagram, use my Robinhood link in the description, and it's been Daniel, AKA Real Deal Wealth. Hope to see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching.